So this is a really big international conference, considering we have over a third of the participants are international. Um, we have close to 240 presentations in eight symposia and 180 uh, papers in the proceedings. The next, um, next award is uh, from Aerospace Division of ASCE. It is given for, it to the, for the outstanding uh, technical contribution. And uh, this is one of the highest awards the Aerospace Division uh, gives to the individual who has contributed substantially to advancing the state of the art in aerospace engineering, sciences and technology, and space exploration and construction with applications to civil engineering. The 2011 recipient of the Outstanding Technical Contribution Award is uh, Dr. Bieswa Pigenda, Professor um, and Chairman of the Department of Civil Engineering at the University of Akron and also Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Aerospace Engineering, which is a journal that uh, Earth and Space and the uh, uh, Aerospace Division is using for uh, spreading the word through various publications. Executive Committee, and right now we have Robert Mueller, uh, Pizong Chow, Leslie Gerch, who are members, uh, myself, who are members of the Executive Committee. Uh, what, 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 uh, Professor Pineda, as I mentioned, is the Chairman of the Department of Civil Engineering. He received an MSc uh, from Warsaw University and PhD from Drexel University. His research interests include impact simulation, fracture and damage of materials, finite element analysis, smart structures, structural design, and so on. He has co-authored over 52 journal papers, 20 NASA technical memoranda, and over 90 other publications. He has been a PI COI of research projects in the amount of over $9 million. Uh, Dr. Binyenda received prestigious NASA award titled Turning Goals into Reality for his contribution to Jet Engine Containment Concept and Blade Art Simulation Team, an exceptional progress toward aviation safety. Thank you again. Um, the Aerospace Division Outstanding Professional Service Award um, is the uh, award, <laughs> highest award uh, in, a, in our division given to an individual who has contributed substantially by an objective and lasting achievement in improving the conditions under which civil engineers advance aerospace sciences and technology and space exploration and construction. And uh, it is my pleasure to again award uh, this prestigious award to Gesua Pineda. <laughs> students, my former students and um, collaborators. And here on the slide you can see the whole list of names. Uh, uh, Mr. Chuck Ruggeri, Justin Latol is already at NASA. One is NASA Glenn, the other NASA Langley. Um, Chateau Lee is in uh, GE uh, Global. Uh, uh, the other two students, Chang Kwa Zhang and Jingyong Cheng, they uh, graduated as well. Lee Kaufman and, and Lina Winsler, uh, they graduated or defended there. They have not graduated yet, but they have defended. 
their PhDs uh, quite recently, and uh, uh, we got a job already with NASA Glenn Research Center, and uh, Brina with uh, Buckhock and Wilcox uh, Navy uh, Nuclear, and uh, other uh, students who are still with me is Chang Chao Zhang, Zhao Pei Fu, Paul Ternier, and uh, my uh, collaborator, uh, uh, Dr. William Arnold. And this is all, all in collaboration with NASA Island Research Center, uh, Gary Roberts, Robert Goldberg, LSTC, uh, where we use LSDINA um, for analysis and simulations. Uh, Dr. Prof. Uh, Amos Gilad from OSU is responsible for high strain rates in testing. And uh, AMP and of course composite and uh, other industry, they are responsible for fabrication and um, um, SAM support. One of the motivation of, of this work was for the containment of the jet engine. So here you have a, a typical laid out test uh, which basically uh, uh, makes a, a maximum RPM of the jet engine and at that maximum RPM, the one of the blades is released. And we are talking about a lot of energy, which you'll see in a second. And uh, uh, it, the, this, any debris from this uh, engine needs to be stopped by containment, which is the uh, tubular part, and not visible. Here it is. This is the end of the test. It, it lasts three milliseconds. If you blinked, you lost the information. That um, could be, of course, slowed down, and we can see the same thing using high-speed cameras. Um, uh, but the problem with the test is that it, uh, it may cost even $20 million. So, um, obviously, uh, the company that has to do it for FAA, as it, as it is FAA requirement, um, would rather uh, limit the number of those tests to minimum, at the same time, uh, would like to have more confidence in understanding the final results. So, in this particular case, certification test passed, everybody is happy, but $20 million is gone. So, um, we decided to, uh, almost uh, 10 years ago, to go through multi-scale approach and, that, and eventually go to the structural analysis of the whole. Um, uh, containment system as you saw in this experiment. At the end, uh, this is the objective to, to be able to create a model and this is now instead of 20 million dollars it's just a, a cost of the graduate student which is pro close to nothing <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and we can have the uh, uh, same physics and, and learn everything what, what could be learned in within that very expensive $20 million test. Um, and uh, as a result of our work, uh, the good news is that uh, GE uh, decided to use this great composite and, and build a containment for the Gen X engine, which is flying uh, the plane uh, Boeing 7. Seven, and uh, also Hanuel and Williams are in the process of e either uh, completing their uh, utilization of this material to their jet engines or they, some of, I, th I think Williams have already a jet engine with this material. And other applications are also for helicopters and other um, applications uh, in aerospace. Now, the the second part of, of my presentation will uh, deal with application of the same methodology of simulations to very practical problem. And, uh, I'm going to refer to the crash of the airplane, a government airplane that happened in April 10, 2010. In this crash, uh, President of Poland with 95 other officials, 9 uh, generals died. Um, and uh, in fact, all people they were killed, and you can see uh, this plane in the uh, full shape at the top and, and after this crash at the bottom. This is the uh, Russian uh, Tupolev, uh, which was built similar, uh, similar to Boeing 707, about 100 ton uh, airplane. 
my uh, work was focused on in a simulation of the crash of the plane to the verge. So I built the uh, airplane model uh, with uh, putting, um, I, I say I built it, but of course my graduate student did it, <laughs> uh, with all the utmost uh, care to, to build the wing properly. Now, um, to validate our test, we, to validate our model, we use some of the tests that were done in, by other colleagues. So, in those simulations show basically there is a damage. You can see some flying material, flying of aluminum from the front edge. Close up, you can see uh, within the time uh, is on the le uh, left corner here in seconds. So between in times point O2, uh, the, the verge is basically broken due to dynamic uh, loads um, that experience um, by exerted by the long longitudinal first um, beam of the of the week. So uh, I presented this this work uh, to parliamentary committee in Poland and recently a couple of weeks ago to a European Union parliamentary committee. Uh, they, 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 they were very very interesting to, to see different take let's say on the on this um, uh, explanation of this of this plan. So you can see here that, uh, um, of course, I, once I have the model, I can see the stresses, vibrations, waves, uh, uh, moving, and so on. Uh, based on the parameters provided in the official report, the model shows that the wing of the of this plane cuts through the verge for every analysis scenario. Separate the wing. Panie profesorze, jesteśmy na konferencji w Pasadeni. Jak pa Jak Pan ocenia e, konferencję e, do tej pory? No, e, konferencja jest bardzo interesująca. Mamy e, dość sporą liczbę e, a, publikacji prezentowanych. E, właśnie dzisiaj jest trzeci dzień i e, rozpoczynamy sympozjum w dziedzinie e, uderzeń o dużej energii. E, będą cztery sesje w, tej, e, w tym sympozjum. A pierwsza będą, w pierwszej będą prezentowali naukowcy z NASA Langley, NASA Glenn, a w drugiej będą moi doktoranci i doktorzy, którzy skończyli doktorat u mnie, będą prezentowali swoje prace. No i potem mamy przerwę na lunch i następne dwie sesje po południu. A rozumiem, że miał Pan swoją prezentację na temat katastrofy smoleńskiej. Jak Pan ocenia, jaki był odbiór tej prezentacji? Myślę, że odbiór był bardzo pozytywny. Dostałem nawet dzisiaj rano kilka bardzo pozytywnych komentarzy od kolegów z całego świata. Pytania były bardzo interesujące w czasie zaraz po mojej prezentacji. No, ale te, równie ważne są właśnie te e, e, komentarze, które e, moi koledzy przychodzą e, do mnie na holach e, hotelu Hilton e, i e, wracają do tego tematu i e, a mamy interesujące e, dyskusje. A rozumiem, że dostał pan, został Pan wyróżniony dwoma istotnymi nagrodami na tej konferencji. Mógłby Pan powiedzieć, jakie to nagrody? No więc to jedna nagroda to jest za cały kształt mojej pracy e, naukowej, a druga za wkład e, do e, rozwoju American Society of Civil Engineering, e, Aerospace Division. Bardzo dziękujemy za rozmowę. Dziękuję.